Hello, this is Andy from SwissAAA.org. Today I'm uh, with Grünig Elmigers in Malters, Switzerland. They are, amongst other things, the importers of the Shadow Systems pistols. These pistols are made in Plano, Texas, and Grünig Elmiger is importing them newly into Switzerland. Let's have a closer look. Okay, the Shadow Systems pistols, they resemble the Glock pistols, but they come in a lot of different variants. Subcompact, compact, full size, with Mac funnel, they are all optics ready. You can have compensators on them. You can have uh, the so-called uh, uh, Elite edition with cuts in the slide, you can have the barrel in, in special colors, you can have threaded barrels, normal barrels, closed slides. There is a configurator actually on the website where you can have all the variants. We don't have all of them here, but some of them. So let's now look at one of these pistols to see what are the special features that you can have. Here we have the DR920 model, so that's the full-size model, in this case with a threaded barrel. And we're going to see what do you get with the, when you buy that pistol. So you get the pistol uh, itself, of course, uh, two magazines, they are P-Max, then two back straps, one is installed, so three back straps, they change the angle of your grip. You can choose what, you, uh, what fits your hand best. An installation tool, a Mac funnel, then uh, a lot of uh, installation material for optics if you want to install an optic, a shadow system sticker, and uh, a nice bag for transportation. Let's have a closer look at the DR920 Elite Edition. So that's the, the full-size gun. Elite edition means we have uh, cuts in the slide and we have serrations on the top of the slide. Um, what else comes with the gun? Of course, iron sights. They are steel iron sights, rather high for use with uh, silencers. It's a plain rear sight and a green tritium insert uh, front sight. They are compatible with uh, all aftermarket uh, Glock sights. So if you don't like those, you can change them to anything that is uh, available for Glock. Now this particular gun, it's uh, optics ready. It has a colored bronze colored barrel. It, the barrel is threaded and it has a nice, uh, if you see it here, it's a very nicely cut in so that's nice to look at functionally of course uh, it's uh, not necessary but it's a uh, it's quite nice to, to look at as i said okay so more features of course here is the slide lock lever disassembly lever um, magazine release button those we all know it's the, it's very similar to the clocks you can have extended uh, slide release of course there's nothing ambidextrous, so on this side there's nothing, so you lefties have to switch over the button, that's possible, but the slide lock you don't have here uh, ambidextrous. The trigger, it's a flat trigger, very nice, it doesn't have any of the annoying uh, features of, of, of Glock pistols, <laughs> so I really like the trigger. Also the trigger guard is undercut, so it doesn't bite into your finger uh, uh, if you shoot a lot. Then the grip it is nicely textured. It's similar to a Glock grip, but it, it, in my hand it fits much better. I don't know why, maybe it's just my imagination, but you <laughs> have to check it out. So it's, uh, it's very nice. You have a little bit of texture up here on the, on the grip as well. Then we haven't installed now the, uh, the, the Magwell. Uh, that, of course, makes you faster if it's allowed in, uh, in the sports division that you shoot. And then we have the 17 rounds P-Mac, of course, that goes with it. So that's more or less in a short description.
description of the pistol, uh, of the features of the pistol. So now we are in Hünenberg, Switzerland, in the indoor shooting range of Elite Guard. And uh, we're going to try out the Shadow System DR920 in the uh, Elite Edition. Let's see what I can do. There's two paper targets. At, I'm at 10 meters. Now, I haven't trained with the gun. Let's see what happens. So it's very light in the hand. Let's load up. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Now the first thing I'm going to do is from the ready position, one round, hopefully hitting the zero down. That's quite nice. Uh, green front sight, quite high actually, and quite a, a small uh, rear sight. Well, let's see what I can do with that. So one round. Yeah, that was in the zero down at least. That's not too bad. One zero seven. Useful. Let's do it again. <laughs> Woo, that was too high. <laughs> I tried to be quick, but I wasn't. It's one zero three. I wasn't really quick. I just uh, went a bit high. Let's do two rounds. Let's see how I can control for the double tap. But the grip is, uh, is, is nice, it's uh, actually, you know, in, with a Glock, the Glock actually hurts your hand. But this one, up to now, it doesn't hurt my hand. Let's see. Ah, yeah, that wasn't too bad. So it was uh, 137, so I made sure I hit and then a 27 split. Let's try again. Ah, much better. They're both in the zero. 121, a 30 split. So it's actually very well controllable. Let's see if I do... Uh, I can't really see how many rounds I have. That's a bit annoying. So let's hope for the best. Let's do two left, two right. Let's see if that works. Ah, that was usable. On the left, there's one in the one down. On the right, it's okay. So it's a 111, 33, 49, 30. Ah, that's quite good. I'm quite satisfied. I like how I can grip it. Now let's do some from the holster. Now let's shoot from the holster. So drawing, going on target. I start with one round, then we do a double tap, then we do a two, two. Let's see how that goes. And how fast can I acquire the target? How well can I do the first grip on the gun? That's things that are important. Of course, with thousands of repetition, you can get better and better. But if it doesn't fit you at the start, it will never really work, right? So let's see what I can do. So one round from the holster. Yeah, that was okay. I had the grip wasn't perfect, but that's me not having practiced. That's a 168. I should be right in the zero still. Let's do it again. Maybe I can do better. Ah, not better. <laughs> I, I have a bit of problem to, 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 to grip it. Right, so the grip angle might not be what I'm used to. By the way, about the holster. So this is from my Glock 41. Fits perfect for the TR920. No problem. So that's a big advantage. There's thousands of options of holsters in the market so you won't have any trouble finding one that fits you let's do a double tap from the holster ah that's good 
Better, better. Still had to adjust the grip, so it's a 185, that's not really fast. 32, I mean, with training that can get better. Let's do two and two. Uh, I tried to be fast, the hits are not great, but it feels good. I don't think it's a disadvantage, the low weight of the gun. I can control it, it just depends on my grip, right? So that I can grip it fast and correct, and then I can very well control it. It's just a matter of my practice. Uh, I forget about the times. Huh? Next, let's do manipulations. Let's do some mag changes. Mag change is I uh, take out the mag, partially full, not empty, stow it. It comes with me, put the new mag in and shoot. So normally I do one shot, mag change one shot. But here I like to do the double tap. It feels good with the gun. I want to practice some. So I do two rounds, mag change two rounds. Let's see. From the ready position, so that looks good. Ready, two rounds, back change two rounds on the other target. Let's see. Ah, all zeros, that's not too bad. Uh, 111, 29, 240 for the back change. That's okay. And it doesn't even have the Mac funnel on or anything. And then a 34. That's not too bad, huh? Let's try it again. You know, if you can do it once, that doesn't mean anything. Ha <laughs> ha, let's see. Yes, all zeros and back change was 242. Yeah, it's close. So this thing is pretty fast. Let's see the reloads. Now, reloads. So I, uh, I'm gonna shoot two, then I'm gonna run empty, drop mag, new mag in, close the slide, and another two rounds. Now here the, uh, the slide look is good for my right thumb, since I'm uh, right-handed. If you are left-handed, you would have to Rack the slide to release it. So let's see what I can do here. There's one in, one in the Mac from the ready. Oh, that was okay. So that's all in the zero. You just have to believe me, it's 125, 32. The reload was 189, and then a 33, and four zeros. One thing, I mean, fast shooting, everybody can do, but fast hitting is what we are after, right? So I always train this with hits, of course. Otherwise, it's for nothing. Let's do it again. Let's see. Wow, oh, I was bragging quite a lot. Let's see if I can repeat it, actually. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so great. I wanted to stow the Mac. <laughs> Let's see what that gives for the change. It's a 244. Yeah, I, I was a bit hesitating here. I was a bit nervous. Anyway, so that's really good. And I can tell you something. For my hands, this grip... It's somehow, it's almost ideal. I can really grip the gun, this light gun. It doesn't jump around. So if I do my part, the shots are in. Now, as I said, the king of manipulations, it's the malfunction drills. There's two drills. One drill, it doesn't fire, tap, rack, and it does fire. So that's what we hope for. Of course, guys, Practice the malfunctions every time you practice because you never use them until it happens, right? And then if you haven't practiced, you are in the shit or it just takes you forever to clear a simple malfunction. 
So what I'm do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an empty chamber, uh, Mac underneath, front ready. I go on the target, gonna go click, tap rack, bang. Of course now the, to, to measure the time, it's my reaction time, how, how uh, uh, nicely I go on the target for the first time, so it doesn't really tell us much the time. I'm just going to give myself a start signal anyway. And you're going to judge how fast I clear this. And I'm going to see whether I actually hit the target, which is kind of the purpose of shooting. Eh? Ah, so it has a one and a zero. 286 for everything. Let's do that again. So it's an empty chamber. Let's go. Ah, both in the one. <laughs> but uh, overall time 315 doesn't tell us much. But yeah, I can grip the slide pretty well. Uh, there's no problem. If the slide is high enough and the, the, the serrations are grippy enough, so that is actually the criteria for the simple malfunction drill. Extended malfunction. So what I'm doing here is I do uh, one round in the chamber, the mag underneath, so now release the slide. So now a tap rack won't solve the problem, right? So I have to go tap rack, lock the slide, mag out, two times rack, new mag in, rack, shoot. Let's see. At least I did two zeros, because I took my time to shoot. And uh, so the whole thing was, uh, the first round was uh, a 5.59 five, five, and then a 42 split, which is okay. So it's under 6 seconds. I started already here, so the time tells us something, right? It's uh, the time to try to pull the trigger. That's maybe a reaction time of 0 0.30, 0 0.40, but you're going to have that as well if you have a uh, extended malfunction. So here, no problem with the manipulations. Everything works for me quite well without having shot the gun before. Okay, now let's do four and four, just to see what I can do with more than two rounds, right? Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, I was actually empty, so that's fine. All right, I go from the ready, four left, four right. Oh, that looks as all in the zero. You can't check that, but I gotta tell you, that wasn't too bad, huh? So it's uh, 113, 37, 34, 35, 40 transition, 37, 33, 34. The whole eight shots, 363. That's good, that's cool. I like it, two-handed, no problem. Since this thing has a threaded barrel, we thought, why not? Screw on a silencer. We use a BT Impulse ORS silencer, of course made in Switzerland. And uh, the normal ammunition, so we have Fiocchi 124 grains. It's uh, not subsonic or anything. And uh, we haven't done anything else. So the sights are a bit higher than normal. And I can just, you know, uh, Try to have a side picture above the silencer. So let's see how that works and if it actually works. Eh? So uh, I'm ready here. I give myself a start signal. I do one round. Uh, it feels kind of weird. I'm not used to that. It actually kicks more than without the silencer. Why? I don't know. And I shoot low. But that's just me, you know. 
So from time wise, it's a 118, that's okay. Let's do a, a like 4-4 four, four and see whether I can keep on the, on the target, kind of. Huh? Works, but the hits are terrible. I can't really make with this configuration a good side picture, so I'm really shooting very low. So it, it works, the gun works it, uh, flawlessly, but I'm shooting low, so probably one would have to add uh, higher sights or an optic. It's optic already, so that's not the problem. Sights are, you can use normal Glock sights, so there's a lot of stuff on the market. And uh, of course I need to practice, but eh, it's kind of weird in this configuration, so, but it works well. Conclusion of the practical test of the DR20 model by Shadow Systems. So 30 years ago, Glocks were kind of cool, right? Because they were reliable, they had a simple systems, there were no decocking levers, no safeties to, uh, the sump safeties to operate, uh, they had a high capacity and so on and so forth, but then they kind of got overtaken by other guns. So I shot more Walters or HKs and so on and so forth. And now Grünig Elmiger approached me and said, hey, we have this new thing here, this uh, in Switzerland, in Europe, new thing, Shadow Systems. Looks like a clock, but it's different. So we did the test and I'm really surprised and intrigued by it because it worked very well. Even if it's very lightweight, the shooting, as you saw, it works quite well. The sights are good, the trigger is good, the handling is good, the, the manipulations are fast. And uh, so this works very well. We had no malfunctions whatsoever. And uh, so I can recommend this gun if you are into like, uh, how do I say, like uh, stylish guns with a lot of features on them. And uh, then this is for you. There comes a lot of uh, um, uh, possible uh, things and aftermarket parts as well, but you don't really need them, maybe except uh, the slide stop or something. The rest is already here and it looks very nice and it shoots very good. So check it out, Shadow System, this one DR920 that I shot, I can say go for it.